Hey everybody, it's Vanessa and welcome to my Dyslexic Life. Today I want to talk about the dyslexic doldrums. What do I mean by the dyslexic doldrums? I mean that place we get into where we just can't figure out the next step. We just don't know what to do next. And how that can make us feel so stuck. It is so unmotivating. And often, you know, we are great at like, you know, visualizing the end and seeing the bigger picture. And, you know, we've talked before about how to harness that, to use that end picture for your motivation. But I also want to talk about what happens when you need to do something, you need to plan something, you need to write something, and you're just not quite sure of that next step. And what happens as a dyslexic is we get confused, or we can't quite see exactly that next step to take. And if we have any of that doubt or confusion, we kind of get really stuck in this place where we don't do anything. And this is different from being unmotivated, okay? We can be really motivated to do something, but if you're not sure of what is that first step to take or what is the next thing you need to do, then actually we just can't take it. We don't know what to do next and we just get stuck in, in doing nothing. And I know for me, um, you know, even with all my knowledge about dyslexia now, this can still happen to me. And it just happened to me the other week. I was really, really kind of stuck. I was just thinking, oh, I just can't, I can't figure out what to do next. I don't know how, what, what step to take. And, you know, this is, this is the flip side of being that amazing big picture thinker and, and seeing, you know, products or ideas already completed and in creation. You know, the flip side of it is if we can't see what's going to happen, we really don't, we don't know what to do. And... Um, you know, as I've said, it's a great skill to be able to think about something or bring it into creation. But without that kind of really clear overview, we get really stuck in knowing what's the next step to take. And if you can imagine, it's like, you know, the difference between GPS and kind of, I don't know, Google Earth, say. So if you know, if you're up high, like Google Earth, and you've got a big overview, that's great. But if you're in the middle of the city and you're trying to figure out should you turn left or right, and you don't have that big overview of where you are in relation to, I don't know, you know, the mountain that you're trying to find, you would be making left and right turns without really getting anywhere. I'm not too sure if that's a good analogy or if it makes sense, but I know for me, I got so stuck because I just couldn't see what the end. I couldn't see where we were going with this kind of project. And it, it just really kind of screwed with my head, really, because then I just didn't do anything. Um, and it wasn't until I identified, OK, the reason I'm stuck is because I don't know exactly what it's going to look like. And actually... Once I identified that, then I could kind of say to myself, okay, so just take one little step. It might not be the right one. It might not be where you end up. But just taking that one little step is going to make me feel better. And it gets me out of the dyslexic doldrums. So I don't know if you guys can relate to this. Um, and I hope this video makes sense. Um, yeah, and I'd be interested to know your feedback. See ya.